not sure what to think here. This General Electric Space Maker has seen better days. That. And. Yeah, it's pretty clean inside for the most part. There's the model number right there. Well, like, you can really fucking see that, but. 1994, model number JVM230BL. Jesus, 1.45 kilowatts. Holy shit. It's a pretty beastly thing. It's an under cabinet mount. What's really pissed me off is the tray's missing. Um, also, it does not work. I've uh, already plugged it in. It didn't power up, so we're gonna get the top off, I think, and see if there's a fuse blowed. I know you come here to see me blow shit up in the microwave, and we're gonna try to get to that, but we gotta get it to power up first, so we're gonna get the top off now. Okay, so we got the top off. Um, oh, look, the book, the key to the city. <laughs> Wiring diagrams, service and parts information. You know what though, that's, that's good to have. I'm glad it's got that. But look at this beauty right here. I don't, somehow I don't think this came from the factory like this. Um, I might be mistaken, but at least they took the time to connect the earth. They used a European cord, like color coded with the American uh, white and black. Not even soldered or crimped, it just pulled right, a little, right off. Look at this. Hmm, I'm definitely in the south. You start seeing shit like that. What other gems await me? This thing's definitely been in storage. Look at the bugs. The spider webs. I think this is our line fuse right here. Maybe bad. Alright. Well, I think I found our problem. Um, looking at this diagram that came with it. I'm looking at one design flow is there is no TCO here in the line. I traced it out. That doesn't exist. But following this line, we come to a main relay. Black and black. This means there's two black wires. It's a normally closed relay. And then it carries on as a secondary for the neutral here. And here's that relay right here. Now, this is supposed to be closed. And so stick that in there, okay. Stick that in there. This, let go in there. No, I'm going to get on the metal. There's no beep. There's a, that one but not on that one. So this is why we're not powering up right here, I suspect. I'm gonna have to investigate a little further. Just make sure, but I'm thinking. Yeah, or low voltage. It seems that the low voltage would be on, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to do some voltage check. Okay, I got it to work now. I uh, changed that relay, and now it's on. It says reset. There's, uh, I'm not sure how to enter time. One two, three, there we go, good enough, <coughs> now, let's see, does this work, oh, well it is on, I need to turn the LED off of this camera, it's getting dark and I'm not going to need it, um, the inside lights, 
So I think the dickery is going to commence now at this point. So I'm going to go and get a cup of water and put in here, see if it gets hot, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I also brought concrete. No, my uh, cheap uh, clamp. I want to check the amps it's pulling as well, just because I can. And uh, yeah, let's do the water test now. Well, I'm back. I have the uh, cup of water, and we're gonna put it in in there, right about the middle. How oh, fitting! Broken cup or broken microwave? Oh, the tops work. Uh, the clock is working. Uh, let's see. What do we want to put this on? A popcorn. Stand back. Transformer is humming away. Pop. Yeah, that's what we intend. Make something go pop. I brought my heavy duty cord. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's turn it off. Let's see. Is this... Oh, it is getting hot. This thing works. It's a shame that the front is screwed to shit, but. Well, it works. I'm gonna put the clamp on it. Hold on a minute. Set this up here. See how good this little cheap Chinese. 20 amps. That's about legit. start there we go. oh wow it's pulling magnetron is definitely running it's pulling about 12 amps <laughs> so this is actually cooking without the need for A rotis oh, it's got a stir. That's why. You know what? I might second this. Turn this off. Oh yeah. Oh god damn, that's hot. Yeah, that's working now. Um, I forgot it doesn't need a tray. It's got a stirring mechanism in the top. Hmm. The idea is um. I know I promised to pop something, and I have another machine I can do it with that's missing its tray. This is a big machine, and I could actually get this replaced. That. So, yeah, I'll be right back. This, this might be a win. It's got some cosmetic fuck-ups on it here, but I'll use it out, you know, as a spare. Oh, God. Look at that. The crusty... It's actually valid to cook in here. Like, hmm. Ah, fuck it. I'll be right back. Ah, fucking hell. Well, it's coming down. The rain is pouring. It's, yeah. Anyway back on this I fixed the cord the uh, twisted soldered heat shrinked the ground the neutral the live got these these were originally reversed and it's going back into the machine there I just came out here to put this cord in not gonna run it because it's raining out here now. It's temperatures dropped as, as well. So yeah, for now we know it works and I didn't put this back great. Yeah, so let's rust up the screws. Now what I'm gonna do. 
Uh, the neighbor's fucking yapper is out now. Okay. Yeah, until next time. Why isn't it working now? <laughs> uh, What's going on now? Huh. Definitely got to get this front replaced. So now it's not doing anything. Pop. Popcorn. Huh. Come on. This, this thing here is... This right here is causing all the problem to it. Yeah, let's get the train in there. Make sure we get the freight train. Plug this back in. Battery's getting why didn't that fucking surprise me? Okay, it's doing its reset. This is so slow to do this though. It, I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. Clock. Okay, come on. The processor on this damn thing is so... How many times? Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's stuck in reset now. I think I pulled this out and it... Power level button. <laughs> Why is it stuck in reset now? Clear clock. Yeah, nothing's happening now. <sighs> well, this this whole front's got to be replaced. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I did fix the cord, but I don't feel so so weird about touching the metal now it's hooked up correctly but now it's going to reset one-handed repair yeah I don't know I think I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I might just take it on apart and I can make it work reset This is just weird. It's it's like stuck in perpetual reset now. Oh, there we go. Well, that works, I guess. Popcorn. There it goes. Yeah, this has got to be replaced. So it's kicked up. The fan isn't working though. This stuff here. Christ. Yeah, clock. <laughs> it won't do it. Yeah, it's not 626. Power level. <laughs> 111. The fan and light doesn't work now. <sighs> Don't know. Don't know what to do with it. Look at that glare. For no reason. There's no sun hitting that, but it's got a glare. Bad glare. inside the light works the microwaves come out through these somewhere in here 
one of these holes. Well, at least it's not infested with roaches, like many of these are. That's always a plus. Well, it's just stuff worked. But... <sighs> I don't know. I could put it in the house and just use popcorn. At least that works. And then it's, you know, cook timer. That works. Wait, how many minutes? Oh, I don't to do that. Six, five minutes. Yeah, the front of this, not the actual control board, but just the uh, film front touch needs to be replaced. But I call this repaired. I put the cord in, got the uh, hot and neutral. When I pulled this out, the ground was not connected. It was electrical taped. The hot and neutral were reversed, which is the reason why I was getting a tingle when I plugged it in. Didn't touch the sides. Um, First, I replaced the fuse with a slow blow, fast acting out. I and replaced the relay in here to get it to even kick up. So, um, yeah, fuck all. Kind of brought it back to life.